I'm opening the vlog. Hi, how are you doing? Are you having a good day so far? Uh, I just made lunch. I am 75% into Misrule, which is a sequel to Malice. I was like nervous about it because I've only experienced horrible sequels before. I don't know how many times I'm going to talk about this. I'm sorry. And this, so far, I'm not hating it. I'm really, really actually enjoying the fact that Alice is still like that's not her name anymore but like she's still herself but also not in that you know that a hundred years has passed so she has clearly aged and I don't want to spoil things for y'all though <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this without spoiling things but the way that she has both aged but allowed the past to keep her from aging compared to other characters who may have not may not have been able to age or were around to be aging um, and learning life lessons. I will not be uh, saying more. Aside from like a way, <laughs> aside from them, like you can tell a distinct age difference there because there is a difference in you know days lived, obviously. But Alice is still naive enough or makes certain decisions and that are emotional based enough that show how much the past can really affect the way that you are doing things, living, learning, etc. Uh, also, if you see like this aggressive, I don't know how it's going to look on camera, um, but if you see this aggressive like redness here, it's because my heart monitor is currently on the charger and uh, we just took the sticky thing off and I have really severe reactions to most adhesive, so this is just that. Uh, but yeah, so that we, we did get my heart monitor. I got that all put on on Friday. I, it's been a fun time, you know. I made a frog purse over the weekend. I don't I don't have it on my person to show you, but I will uh, hopefully include a photo of it. Um, and I also made a frog shirt. It needs a little bit more tweaking and cleaning up, but yeah, made a frog shirt also. I, mm, what else has happened? Not much, I had a doctor's appointment today, but it was just like a standard checkup, so not like a whole lot going on. I'm currently making, this is gonna be a, a top, stretches so it's not just gonna be like obscurely tiny top but I'm making a shirt right now um I'm really enjoying making clothing at the moment I don't know how long it's gonna last but I'm enjoying it someone wants to buy a frog purse from me and I want to be willing to sell one like make one and sell it but I'm also nervous because like realistically they take me three-ish hours to make which isn't too crazy but um between you know materials and time it takes and then you know my own craftsmanship and stuff and shipping um realistically i should be pricing it at like 50 dollars but 55 <laughs> but i feel like that's too high of a price when fast fashion right now has like so many crochet things like target and stuff has so many crochet things that you can get for under 30 dollars and so then like saying 50 dollars for this bag that doesn't even have like pockets or lining feels pretentious of me um and so i feel really conflicted about what I should be doing. Sorry, that's the Roomba that lives downstairs. There's a lot to say, apparently. No, it cleans itself, like it dumps itself, so that's interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, I also spent pretty much all morning troubleshooting my work computer because our help desk is not, like, actually helpful. Bless them. But they're not. And so I've just been doing that basically all morning. And I finally got my computer to work, but I've been very, very busy, which is why I have not been able to update. I'm trying to get 25% into the Unbound Empire, which is the third book in the Melissa Caruso series that I'm currently reading, but I can't think of the series name. I started it, I'm like 6% in, and I just don't... There isn't any recapping. No recapping. It's just like, picks off, picks up immediately after the last book. And yeah, I read the last book like last week or the week before, for sure. But I don't, I don't read them back to back. And so there's some pieces of the puzzle, like pieces of events and stuff that my brain hasn't retained. And so it's just like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. And it's very hard for me to jump back in, especially because this one is not an audiobook. If it was an audiobook, it would be a little bit different. Um, I would have a little bit more of an easy time easing my way in. I could even listen to the last little bit of the previous book. I could do that now, but it's still just not gonna, it's not gonna feel the same or be the same, so. Ah, I have that going for me right now. Um, and then I also finished The Last Lies of Ardor Ben on Friday, I think. 
I don't think I talked about it, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's, I didn't do a whole lot of reading over the weekend, so I don't really have any, uh, when I closed out the blog last week, I didn't really talk about any more books because I didn't really read anything. So. Um, but yeah, my break's almost over and my noodles are almost ready, so I am going to go so I can eat some before my break's totally over. Um, but I will see you guys again tomorrow or sometime later today, depending on if anything interesting happens enough that I want to update on. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. Hello, hi, how are you doing? It's Tuesday. I just finished Malice, um, which is the sequel to, no, I just finished Miss Roll, which is the sequel to Malice. Um, it was incredible. That's how you do a sequel. I cannot emphasize enough that that's how you do a fucking sequel. Um, I was nervous too. I was nervous about it the whole time. I think I talked about how nervous I was about it, but it was very good. The author kept to what the, um, what the characters were in the first book. Obviously there was some growth. Duh. But also they, um, I lost my train of thought. Rip in peace. But also there, I don't know. I just, I think that sometimes, um, characters lose, like, the point. They lose who they are inherently in some of these stories, and it's a little bit annoying. Like, when you get to a sequel, I hate that. It's, I hate that. It's one of my, a, a big pet peeve that I have. But I have enjoyed it a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, but I just finished that, like, maybe ten minutes ago, so I'm still thinking about it, and I've got to write my... Uh, my review for it. I think that's it though. I don't think I have anything else that I want to say right now. Our AC was being really funky last night so we had to sleep with it on and that kind of was like Ooh. but but I can't I can't complain too much about it. I am gonna start Juniper and Thorn today which is by Ava Reed. It is a arc that I have. I think I've talked about it a little bit. That's that's my current plan. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great day. I will check back in later though. Okay, thanks, bye. Basically, I sleep with those loops in, the earplug things. Actually, I think I know a solution to this. Okay, that's not 100% better, but it is better. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Basically, my ear feels clogged now, um, and I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that it passes, but we'll see. Like, I keep trying to pop it, but we'll see. Anyway, yesterday I finished Malice, no, Miss Roll. I don't know if I talked about finishing it, but I think I, I think I talked about finishing it, actually. I'm going to say that I talked about finishing it. I'm not sure. So, I don't know. It's Wednesday. Normally I try to edit my blog footage from up to Wednesday, so we'll see. If I talked about it, if not, I will come back. But I did also finish The Unbound Empire, which is the third book, and then Melissa... Melissa? Cars? I don't know. Caruso. Caruso, that's the word. Books. 
I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. Um, I just felt like it was too long and I was bored for the most part, so that sucks. I also started Juniper and Thorn. I'm not having a good time so far. It's my last book of the, um, it's my last book of the month. So I'm hoping that it, I am hoping that it improves because I feel like it was something that I highly anticipated. So if it's not good, like if it doesn't get any better, I'm going to be really unhappy. Like just kind of bummed out about it. So here's hoping. I've just script a couple of videos, hopefully film them either today or tomorrow. I am going to go though. I have stuff I need to be doing and I need to Google about my ear because um, I have anxiety about it now. So. I also need to take my meds. Haven't done that yet. Okay, thanks. Bye. It's love. I wait to find love. Better hear the call again. For now I will feel the ocean view. And I pray that it won't be over soon. Oh my, I miss the sun. Just wait, it won't be too long. Hello, it's Thursday. Um, I don't really have much to update on because I haven't really read. Well, I guess I, I do have to update because I didn't talk about what I read yesterday. I finished all of the like ongoing books I was reading. The only thing that I'm reading right now is Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. And I think I vaguely talked about it, but not much. I am not having a good time reading it though. It's dark, which I expected, but everything is a little bit overtly sexual, which is, y'all know, not really something that I enjoy reading. And then also it, it's, I'm just not having a good time, besties. I couldn't tell you what this book is about. I couldn't really tell you what's happening. And I don't know if it's me or like if it's my brain or what, but I'm just not having a good time. Also, sorry about my voice, it's because it's very cold outside and my ear never popped from yesterday, I think. Like, it, it intermittently feels fine, but anyway. I have some crochet projects that I'm working on though, one of which is this, um, this crop top. I promise the bottom doesn't actually look that silly. Um, I'm gonna run out of yarn though before I can finish even this sleeve, but I have more yarn coming. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to finish the whole thing. I feel like it should be, but I'm not sure. So we'll see, we'll see, but I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish it. I am going to be making a cow print shirt, possibly and cardigan. The, the cardigan is dependent on if I have spoons for it, but a cow print shirt at the very least. And then a um, Charmander? Yeah, a Charmander <laughs> for my husband. The Charmander's for him. Um, so that's all well and good and fun. I was looking for like a baby blue because I know I have a baby blue, but uh, yarn for the cow print, like for the bands of the cow print to give it some contrast. And I couldn't find enough of the soft baby blue that I wanted to use so I'm using a little bit more of a like robin's egg blue it's, it's a little bit more vibrant than what I wanted I wanted a pastel but I guess I don't have enough and I'm not going to be buying yarn anytime soon so um yeah I could use a baby pink I have baby pink I like a decent amount of baby pink but I like to save my baby pink for projects for me rather than projects for other people I know that sounds terrible but I'm like no the pink is for me though and I also have a project that I, I do need the baby pink for um that is a project that I might be getting paid for so by that I mean like if I take on the project I will be getting paid for it so um yeah that's it I'm out of the yarn now I don't know if I can show you the tail here yeah that's it we're done no more yarn so I'm going to clip this off and stick it in my cart until, until I can work on it again. But here she is so far. There's going to be like a collar situation and then the other sleeve, obviously the other sleeve. But yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see how it turns out when I can finally finish it. Um, but I'm going to go make myself dinner. My new meds are working great. I got beta blockers. I don't know if I talked about this or not. 
but they prescribed me beta blockers and they are working fantastically. I am not mad about it. But downfall is that they make me super hungry, which isn't, I guess, a downfall because my ADHD medication makes me super not hungry. So you win some, you lose some. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch Pretty Little Liars with my best friend. Okay, thanks, bye. Just got a ticket on this day I really miss the shade of blue Besties, hi, hello, where are my glasses? I have been working without my glasses for days. I don't know where they are. I think they're in my crochet bag. Hold on. Not in that one. Maybe the other one. To your old lady, without saying your old lady, I have two crochet bags. I started using besties ironically, like only when I was talking about people that I hated, like bestie. And now I'm using it unironically, which this happens to me. This happens to me like all the time. Here I am. Here we are. I got this at Starbucks. I um, didn't really like it's that oat milk brown sugar thing. It requires a lot of stirring. A lot. Which I used to get a caramel macchiato, so like I'm used to it, but also like why? Why so much? Anyway, I got an embroidery machine. Well, I didn't get it. My mom gave it to me. It's back there with the sewing machine. Oh, that would be better if I <laughs> My dog's like, please stop rolling around. I'm scared. Embroidery machine. Sewing machine is over there. Embroidery machine is right there. What am I going to do? I don't know. I've just barely used the sewing machine. But now I have it. Actually, I do know what I'm going to do. What I want to do. I want to do, like, some limited edition merch, maybe, with Bella. Maybe. Maybe, like, a Hella Bella tattoos and a clear your shit collaboration. I don't know. I don't know, besties. I don't know. Also, like, because I don't want to have the merch, but Bella's way better at mailing things than I am. And also, her work has a printer, and she leaves her home, leaves the home more than I do. I leave house not that often. I've left a lot lately. For, I don't know why, if something is near me that I can wave around while talking, I'm going to. I don't know why lately I've had to move, go leave the house a lot. I mean, I do know it's for doctor's appointments. I would like that to stop. Anyway, it's Friday. Realistically, like, if I was being honest with myself... I should close the vlog out here. Am I going to? No, I'm gonna do exactly what I do almost every single week, which is wait until Monday, and they'd be like, besties, I'm sorry, I'm late, I'm closing the vlog out, I suck, bye. I haven't read anything, that's the other thing. I don't have anything to tell you, I haven't read anything. I could tell you about Juniper and Thorn, but I don't wanna pick it back up, I don't wanna read it. I don't wanna read it, because I'm not having a good time. Does that mean I should DNF it? Yes, but I said I would get myself to 75%, and then I would DNF it. So I'm gonna eat my little sandwich, and read until my lunch is up. So I've got 15 minutes to do that. I should get about 75% and then I'll decide there. And I know you're probably thinking, 75%? Andy, you could just finish the book at that point. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to say about that one. But I mailed off my heart monitor. So she's off to new adventures, to new hearts, new loved ones. I don't know, live her best life. Um, but I mailed that off. So very productive, very productive things today. I finished a Charmander. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you that guy. I made him for my husband. He doesn't have a face. The pattern didn't have him with a face, so I didn't make him a face. I think he's precious, just like this. Anyway, also people have asked if I want to sell crochet things, and the answer is maybe, but I don't know how pricing works. I think I talked about this already in this vlog, but like. I've been asked in TikToks, and I, I don't know how to price things appropriately. So, things to debate for myself. You know, I just left from outside to inside. It is 40 degrees outside, 36 degrees outside, sorry. Very cold. My hands are warming up, and they hurt. They physically hurt. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and read this fucking book, and hopefully it will be better. Bye. Quick update quick update see what happened was I went to start it I did uh-huh and then I was like I think I'd rather die so uh that indicates to me that it is past time to DNF it I think that the plot is starting to pick up and become interesting but we are 63% into the book it should have already done that 
at least by 50%. We should have an end goal, a process, something, a clear, this is where we are, this is where we're going. Um, and I am currently not experiencing any of that. So I'm gonna watch Pretty Little Liars and um, work on my silly little crochet project and uh, call it a day, call it a day. So thanks. Okay, do you remember, do you remember on Friday when I was like, I should close the vlog out here, um, but I'm not going to. And then, because I was like, maybe I'll update in the interim. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, who knows, not me. We both, we both knew, I'm assuming it's just me and one other person, right? We both knew that I wasn't, I wasn't gonna close out the vlog on time. When do I ever close out the vlog on time? The answer is never. Did I talk about how I decided to DNF Juniper and Thorn? Because I did. I did end up DNFing it. And then I had a dream that I wrote a review about why, but it was way snarkier than anything I would actually have said ever. Like, anything. And it said a bunch of things that I don't actually personally feel in, in this interview, in my dream. Horrifying. Uh, and then Ava Reed came for me. Came for me directly in my dream. Which, again, horrifying. <laughs> but like one-on-one -on -one came to me not like a public call or anything like one-on-one -on -one came to me and obviously I can't handle that kind of confrontation so yeah that's what happened nothing interesting happened over the weekend I did get some yarn I made another frog purse it's not done or else I would show it to you so you'll probably see it next week um but that's it this upcoming week is gonna be wild so sorry in advance if I don't have a great vlog next week but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you didn't enjoy this video i'm sorry it's my life i don't really know what to tell you um, i post videos every tuesday and thursday at 10 a.m central standard time comment down below if you're a reviewer and you've had a nightmare about an author coming to you directly <laughs> about something that you've said i want to know is this a common experience i've never had this happen before so horrifying also sorry i was gluing my nails back on but I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to drink some water, take your meds, do something today to take care of yourselves. Okay, thanks, bye. bye.